In this video, I'm going to explain how to know if your computer is powerful enough to stream using OBS. The first step is to check its specifications. You'll see information about your CPU, GPU, and RAM in your settings. To find your settings on a Mac, hit the Apple menu and click About This Mac. On Windows, you can find everything besides the GPU by opening System Information. This can be found by typing it into the search bar. You'll then see a bunch of information, but the important ones we're looking for are the processor and installed physical memory, or RAM. To find your graphics card, just right-click on the Windows logo on the screen and select Device Manager from the list that appears. In the Device Manager window, click the arrow to the left of Display Adapters to expand the list. Here you will find exactly which GPU is in your machine. Now that you've found this jumble of words and letters that you may not quite understand yet, it's important to understand what each of them mean. The CPU, or central processing unit, is the brain of your computer. It handles the majority of the processing power needed for streaming. The GPU, or graphics processing unit, is responsible for handling the video and graphics. It helps reduce the load on the CPU. RAM, or random access memory, stores data that your computer is currently using or processing. More RAM means more room for OBS to work with, which will result in less lag. So now that you have a brief understanding of what everything means, what what kind of specifications should you be looking for? For CPU, you'll want a quad-core processor or higher. Anything with an i5 on it or higher is a safe bet. For a GPU, a dedicated graphics card is best, like an RTX 2060 or higher. But if your CPU is good enough, you can get away with just using a powerful CPU like a newer i7 or i9. Newer MacBook Pros with M1 or M2 chips will also work very well. For RAM, 8GB is the bare minimum, but at least 16GB is recommended. So be warned that if you don't have much RAM here, you may experience a lot of freezing when using multiple programs at once. Now that you know what to look for, you can check your laptop specifications and see if it's powerful enough to handle streaming on OBS. If you'd like any help, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you'd now like to learn how to get Twitch Partner, then click here. Or for more tips and walkthroughs, click here. Thanks for watching and happy streaming.